This training video is a continuation of the hydraulic diagram video. Here we will learn how to move and break links, change the type of line, configure a reservoir, build a manifold with components, and hide component IDs on the diagram. To convert this circuit to a load sense, use components such as this pressure compensator. Change the position using the context menu and insert the component directly onto the line by holding the shift key while dragging and dropping. In the flow valve library, take a shuttle valve from the equivalent symbols window. Change the position of the symbol to face the opposite direction. Now create lines starting from the connector. Lines automatically cut through existing lines. Click to change directions and make corners. Connect this valve to the existing port of the drain. Duplicate the shuttle valve by holding the control key and moving the symbol. Delete the fixed displacement pump and replace it with a load sense pump. Go to the load sense pump equivalent symbols window. This one doesn't have a shaft. Cut this one and retrieve a load sense pump with a shaft so it can be driven by the engine. It connects automatically. Connect the load sense pump to the shuttle valve. Find a filter for the exhaust of the relief valve. Replace all the reservoirs by another reservoir. In the reservoir category in the library, in equivalent symbols, select the customized hydrostatic reservoir. This is used to change the number of ports. Select 20 ports, for example. The symbol changes to show 20 free ports. Move the component either with the mouse or the arrow key on the keyboard and select the link and connect it to one of the ports. Take the handle and move the link. Move the direct links in the same way. When a line is selected, it turns blue with squares. These squares are the handles. Use these handles to move the link. Notice that the connector follows. Any line can be moved horizontally and vertically. Any segment of a line can be moved with the handle. Organize the layout of the circuit. Adjust the design. Move the cylinder a little in preparation for the manifold. Zoom in and change the type of line. Click on a line and left click to open the context menu. Then select the type of line from the menu. To change a group of lines, Use multi-selection by holding the shift key while clicking the lines to be grouped. Then left click and select the type. All the lines change simultaneously. The manifold needs an outline to form the box. Draw a rectangle by going to the home tab and using a drawing tool. Click on rectangle and outline the manifold. Move this line over by holding the shift key in order to disconnect the line from the reservoir. Using the links group in the home tab, add some links to extend these lines to reach the edge of the manifold. 
and right click to change the type of the line to a return line. Use the break links command by clicking on the lines. This will be useful in creating the assembly manifold. In the Edit tab, change the thickness of the line of the rectangle and fill it in with a pattern. Assign colors to the background and foreground layers and send the rectangle to the background. This is a component ID. To create the manifold, select the whole block and click on the assembly command of the Edit tab. The manifold component ID becomes ASB1 assembly number 1. The manifold is complete. To hide the component IDs and only have the symbols visible in the drawing, select All in the Edit tab, open the View tab, and click the Show Hide Identifier Tool command.